two of the Styx lionesses at the moment. I can see one cub. And I did hear a contact call coming from the left. And I think that's why they were looking across that way. There's also a Birmingham male. I can't see who it is just yet. We'll just have to wait and see, of course. Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen the Styx lions in a very, very, very long time. The last time that I saw them, I think it was whew, two months ago at the Duma Dam on Cheetah Plains. We had the one lioness with her, her two cubs. Now, I believe that there were new cubs that were born. And I think that that's the third lioness that's missing from here. So these cubs, I can only see one, and I'm pretty sure there were two. But we'll see. Could Yes. Who's contact calling? Someone else is talking. So I don't know what other lions are here. We'll just have to wait and see and play it out. But that little cub should be about three months old now. There we go. You should be able to hear them contact calling. Oh, this could be very exciting. I can definitely hear an, another adult and a young one calling. Here comes the other young cub. You can see the, the other sibling is going into the stalking position. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Laying flat in the grass. Hello, I'm back again. So that must be mom over there. And typically they'll always come over and greet mom first. Or you never know, maybe that's mom. They also have got such a strong bond between the members of a pride. Let's see how this Birmingham reacts. Nope, get away from me. I'm not interested in you. <laughs> Snarling and they don't care. They're just like, oh, but you, we one day we want to be like you. Now, Mary, you're wondering how many Styx lions there are. There are three adult lionesses. I don't know how many cubs we have. We've obviously got these two that we can see. But I know that there was one more lioness that has had cubs, but I'm uncertain as to how many there are. We'll have to find out. We'll ask away. But this is very, very cool. I'm just trying to work out who mom is. Let's see if this one is going to suckle here. But isn't that amazing? Even at such a young age, at just a couple of months old, they're already showing those signs of uh, socializing with the pride. You know, not just going over and greeting mom, but making sure that they greet every single member in the pride. And I suppose it's like manners, like us. When we are taught as kids, when your folks have a dinner party, you have to make sure that you go and say hello to everybody and greet them and learn their name. And that's what happens with lions and elephants and any of the animals that are quite social. Hi, little guys. I'm just trying to think how old these cubs would be. It must be about three or four months. I don't think that they're particularly old. But it's getting a little bit dark now, and that's not a worry for us with these lions just yet. But I think it's time we go across to James and make sure that he gets home safely. Look how beautiful the scene is as the two very young cubs come over and snuggle. They're also playing a little bit. They all seem to be waking up very, very slowly, which is quite exciting. Now, something that we must remember is because these cubs are still very, very young, even though mom is here, we're not going to be able to put a spotlight on them. So we'll try and stay with them as long as possible. I also don't want to bother them with the vehicle. I did notice the last time that I'd seen mom and these two little ones, they were quite nervous even of the cars. They obviously look like they've settled down quite a bit now. They've uh, been interacting with the vehicles, and lion cubs are very easily habituated to the cars. But even with the infrared, the movement of the car at night might disturb these little ones. So I think we'll just wait until they are a bit older. So we'll probably get another 10 minutes with them, and then unfortunately we're going to have to say a goodbye to this lovely pride of lions. And just until they're a little bit older, then I think it will be okay to start viewing them at night. You can imagine, it's very disorientating for them, even though their eyesight is phenomenal at night, to have a vehicle clanging over branches trying to follow them. I don't think mom will be very impressed with us. So, 
we'll just have to, well, we always do, we always try and respect the animals as much as we can. We don't want to intervene with them or upset them in any way. But aren't they cute? And they're looking good too. They're looking really, really sweet and precious. Hello. Now, Lorena, you've asked which male berming is, is here. I have, I have no idea. I haven't seen his face properly. Um, it was such a quick sighting that I didn't get to have a good look at him. But we'll have to wait and see. But maybe if you've anybody got a screenshot of the Birmingham and can assist us, please hashtag Safari Live if you can help Lorena and myself as to who that Birmingham is. But it won't be before too long before I'm sure he puts his head up and we can have another look at his face. But something that I'm all sure that you can see straight away is how mangy the, the sticks lionesses are and even the cubs very much around the elbows around the feet and on the ears you can see the the damage from the mange not so much on the adults a little bit but on the cubs you can definitely see it look there you can see also on their tummies you can see that the hair is just not growing very well and i'm sure that they're also very itchy though that also looks like a combination of mud but they're just not clean and fluffy and it's very sad. Remember the Styx lionesses lost all of their cubs a couple of months ago last year. And it was very, very sad. So I'm not sure if they're going to be able to overcome something like this and whether they'll have a couple of generations, uh, well, are to come. Let's keep the thoughts, of course, positive. I'm really hoping that that Birmingham does decide to sit up so we can have a view. Oh, let's have another look at these lines before it gets too dark. Hello Tesla, you're only a mere six years old and you're wondering why lions have manes. Well Tesla, it's only the boys that get the manes. Typically, I must tell you, I have seen footage of a, a lioness with a mane before, which I think was just she had too much testosterone. And uh, anyways, the main reason why the boys have manes is it's to help protect their vital organs. So it's to help protect their throat. It's to help protect um, all the vital organs around in that area. Because when male lions fight, that's the thing that they go for the most, is they want to try and injure their opponent as quick as possible. And it also makes them look big and strong, don't you think? And it's very attractive. The females love a, a male with a big, dark black mane. But not all lions have that. The Birminghams <laughs> are getting there. <laughs> Craig's having a little giggle at the back, and I'm sure you can imagine why. Craig, you naughty. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Birmingham lion. Look at us so we can see who you are. I haven't, you know, I don't know if it's Tenure, because I haven't seen any mange on him. Now, Sarah, from all the way from Georgia, in the US of A, you're wondering if I think the cubs look healthy. I think they're doing all right. I mean, like I said, they've got, definitely got a bit of mange. You can see it around their face. And you can see they're quite itchy on the back of their elbows. You can see that dark patches of skin. You know, I'm, I'm so scared to say anything, Sarah, because of what happened to the cubs the last time. And these, and these Styx lionesses do have, well, a history with these cubs. So we'll, we'll just have to wait and see and hope. Oh, look, hello, my little one, giving a little youngsters a little bit of love. So we'll just have to see, but for the moment, they look all right. They've got full bellies and so do the adults. And a bit mangy, but let's see, maybe they can beat it. It's a, it's a good time uh, to, if anything, to have mange because everything is so green. There's rain, rain, the water often helps wash away. A mice like that, it can a little bit, but also you need a combination of grooming and a good diet. And there's so many animals for them to catch at the moment. Lots of impala, and also the animals that they'll be feeding on will be very healthy. Remember, we had that big problem with the white muscle disease, which is uh, that disease that um, buffalo typically got in this area. A couple of different animals can get it too. But we saw it the worst with the buffalo. As they were losing condition, they weren't getting enough nutrients from the grasses. And then in return, the lions were feasting upon them and not getting the nutrients that they needed. And this is obviously a big problem. Uh, so, so yeah, so hopefully now that the animals that they're feeding on are healthy, that will help boost their immune systems. 
and they will have a second lease of life. But let's keep positive. Let's say, let's let's all say on one, two, three, the sticks little cubs can do it. I think that they can. Right, we're actually gonna have to leave these little lions now. It's got too dark. I don't wanna disturb them. I just thought we poke our nose in to have a very quick look, but I hope that you've enjoyed that. And we're gonna go across to Tristan now, who's also got the fading light. Let's go take a look.